Mm -hmm. You got another song for us? Absolutely. This one's called Tell Me Mama. Tell me, Mama, tell me true. Tell me exactly what you want to do, cause I don't know. Oh, and it's almost time to go. Yeah, I can play my guitar and I can sing my songs, but you're about the best thing that I've got going on. So tell me, dear, oh, what are we doing here? Oh, the little rooster crowing in his early morning way. He gets my mind to wondering if you're coming round today, so let me know. Cause I've got places I should probably go. Will you give a mouse a cookie And then he asks for a drink You give me some of that loving And now it's all that I can think about all day So hear me when I say Oh, tell me, mama Oh, tell it to me true Oh, tell me exactly what you want to do Cause I don't know and it's almost time, oh, it's almost time, oh, it's almost time to go. Don't go yet. Nope. No. <laughs> Plenty more to come. <laughs> more, more to come from Jordan Tice Live on WNCW. Thinking about playing in studio because you've got some sideman type work. You've got some studio work backing up other people and the difference between that and being out on the road. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there's just like a who's who of names that you've worked with. Dave Rawlings, Tony Trishka, Frank Wakefield, Steve Martin. Uh, how has all of this experience informed you and can you contrast that work versus just working for Jordan Tice, just being out on the road? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's kind of the same. You know, you're just kind of getting together and trying to make something happen. Um, I'd say when you're when you're uh, there's like a different difference between kind of um, you know like a leader role and a side man role. You know, I think when you're a side person, you're kind of sensitive to someone else's vision, and you're there to kind of bring whatever you can to serve that. You know, so it's a matter of kind of um, you know uh, making something you know maybe asserting an idea or something when you feel it's beneficial but also backing off and letting someone else take the reins so you know you're just kind of on somebody else's rhythm but then when you're a leader you kind of have to you you set the rhythm so you kind of have to set the tone and the energy and um so it's, it's two different roles but um is, is the way i think about it do you pick up a lot of session work it comes and goes you know um right now i'm just kind of so focused on my own thing um that things still come up but uh i'm just busy doing Hawktail and then my own music that, uh, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm a little just kind of out of that loop a little bit. Um, but it, but it, but it comes up, it comes up for sure. It seems that Especially Nashville. Yeah. It mm -hmm. seems that Hawktail is a collective where you sharing writing and all of the music has that balance so that it's, it's not guitar forward too much in any one song or it's not fiddle mm -hmm. forward too much in any one song. For sure. And that's, I think that's like a mission statement of that band of, is kind of like everybody really kind of showing their personalities at all times, but in ways that are kind of musical and, you know, better than the sum of its parts. That's kind of very much a stated goal. We want everybody to kind of have a little bit of a stake in it, any given piece, you know? And what's next for Hawktail? 
Um, well, we have a new record that came out in August, and we're about to get uh, touring pretty heavily, actually. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to do two weeks on the West Coast in February, and then we're doing um, some shows with Ifo Donovan in March uh, in the Northeast. Um, and we're actually going to be right here in Henderson, North, North Carolina, Hendersonville, um, in May as a part of, what is it, the Brewers something? Oh, festival? is it the NC Brewers? I think that's what it's called. Okay, great. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's that's like in mid May, mid late May. We're going to be out. It's in the parts. NC Brewers Festival. I think is Mother's Day weekend, but it's in uh, Huntersville. I think or it's this not Hendersonville. It's, I'm going to have to look it up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the thumbs up that it's Huntersville. Okay, it's not too far from Hendersonville. It starts with an H. It's in North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, and I know it's a Thursday night that we're playing. So. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, I might, might need to double check that on the internet, but we'll, we'll be back in the area. Outside of music, what do you like to do? Man, I like to read a lot, and um, um, I ride my bike a lot. I like biking a lot. I do that when I'm home. Um, yeah, those two, I like hiking, too, kind of always seeking out trails and things like that. Um, and I have some, some of my favorite kind of haunts, like on the uh, Tennessee, Middle Tennessee area, up on, up on the Cumberland Plateau. That lots, Oftentimes, if I get yeah. off the road after being gone for a couple of weeks, that's my first stop. Just get up and drive an hour or two and just kind of spend the day with some in nature with some quiet. Mountain biking or road biking? Mostly road biking. Okay. Yeah. Very good. That can be dangerous sometimes depending on where you are. <laughs> it is, yeah. And especially in Nashville, but luckily in where I live in East Nashville, it's kind of the only quadrant of Nashville. There's actually, you can kind of get a lot of different places, either biking on residential streets or greenways. So it's uh, not that bad. All right. <laughs> 